Yep. And um, yeah, it's me. I'm back, y'all. Sorry. That last video, y'all can go watch it. And uh, this is just part two of it. Okay. I had ended up getting a random ass phone call. Uh, so sorry about that, y'all. Uh, back to this. Like I said, I, I'm, I, I love Michael Jackson. Okay. And and at this time, you no, know, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm taking. We yeah, talking about the oh, the birthdays of. No, 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 not the birthdays. Uh, when it comes to the, we talk basically talking about that narcissist and special events. When it comes to the special events and these narcissists, you, you know what I mean. I can't get my titles right, but I sure can spell them on the damn the. Uh, the title anyway like i was trying to say you know i got caught off guard with that damn phone call god damn it anyway so at this time this is around the time i mean you know i mean you know i mean i love michael jackson so i was so focused on that so she's calling my phone again like the weeks later new year's is about to come now mind you i'm already going through a grief where i had lost the best friend um i had lost a young best friend around 2013 or whatever. And I used to study stuff about Illuminati and all that bull crap, you know, at the time. I used to lose sleep thinking about what happened to Michael Jackson. That was my mindset at the time. So um, she calls me. I was always the happiest guy in the world at the time, too. But she calls me. She's like, hey, we're going to have you all uh, day. Hey, don't forget me. I know you can't wait for this celebration. I know you can't wait for this New Year's celebration. Oh, I didn't know you can't wait for New Year's. Oh, we. Oh, oh, oh. This was like in 2018, I think. No, 2017, 20. Yeah, it was around. It was about to be 2018. Okay, I remember now. So, for a long period of time, I was worried about Mike. Yeah, I know it's that bad. I was just, damn, what happened with Mike, man? No, I need to know who killed Mike, what really, really happened. You know, with all the new not the Illuminati stuff at the time, it was all hidden. Now when it comes to Illuminati, that shit is all over TV now. It's plastered everywhere. <laughs> okay, it's at, it's everywhere. It's in every joke we hear every once in a while. But that's not the point of the video. But I'm saying I'm just painting a picture of that situation back then. Um now, at this time, I'm not really sweating everything. I'm not worried about nothing. So it got my mind off that. And that was good. I actually appreciate that at the time. She, you know, she got my mind focused on other things like having fun, you know, because that's what I'm known for, having fun. Hey, yo, KT, we finna have this fun celebration. And we, we I can't wait. Can you can't wait? I can't wait. Yay. Good actor. Good actor. Made me think this is finna be the best time of my life. <laughs> no. I guess here's another, and this is the same. I think I don't know if it's the first time to me or or she how many people she's done this to, but they live uh, covert narcissists. They live off situations where they love to use it when something bad happens to their relative type situations. For example, her mom had passed away. That's why I'm in this, you know in this situation now. Not a bad situation. It was bad in the beginning though. I ain't gonna eat bullshit. And shit got really weird. And that's why I'm talking to y'all about narcissism now. Narcissism now, I mean, I can't get it out right. So, the thing that happened was we she say yeah, um, yeah, so as soon as we get to the, we went to the Holiday Inn. And it was new, about to be New Year's. As soon as we get there, everything's supposed to be fine. I had this weird feeling something went right because they always wait to a person pass away. I, I don't know if they they all do this, but they all have different ways to attack you, these narcissists. Her way of attacking me was using her grandma and passing away. It's the reason behind she didn't want to lay on the bed with me. She didn't want to, you know, normal stuff. You know, they like to make you suffer for no reason, especially if they, however she was feeling, she was wanting me to feel what she felt. I already felt what she felt. I'm an empath. No, she wanted me to not only feel what she feel, but feel like her completely where to the point where we trade feelings. That's how they do. They try to trade your soul by doing damage to you where while you're feeling down, they all happy-go-lucky. The fact that I still was in a way happy-go-lucky, even though she was getting on my goddamn nerves, 
not, you know, giving me attention I wanted or whatever, just showing me love. I wanted to hug and kiss and this and that. Simple stuff for New Year's. Shit, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to just have a good time, like she promised. No, she's just sitting there. That I don't know what's wrong look. No, you're an actor. You're an actor. You're fake. You're phony. I know. I knew what was up the whole time. I really did. <laughs> and that's one thing about us in We're dangerous like that. We will remember every detail of what you did. And I do. I might not know the time. I ain't that damn smart. I don't remember the actual time. Well, it's obvious. It was around 11 something. So you wait till you ca- they calculate things. You wait until like 1130 to start acting weird like this. Okay. And I mind you, she promised me we're going to have a good time. Like You promised me a good time. I'm going to take that serious. I'm like, yo, she know how I like stuff like that. She knew how I liked it. So there she go. I'm yelling at her about stuff. We arguing. She hear me? Here she go. My grandma died. Now, mind you, remember those stories I told you about when her mom passed away? My mama died. That's why. Blah, blah, blah. I guess that was her excuse on hitting on me, throwing Q-tips at me, you know, doing weird shit just to irritate me. I guess that was her excuse. And I guess I was supposed to be a punching bag. No. So I kept falling for this stupid manipulation. And that's on me. And that happens. We all human. We make those mistakes. Okay. At New Year's, we, this woman going to sit up there and cause all this stress. You know, everybody asking her, what the hell is wrong? And then I'm asking her mainly, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, what's really wrong? Okay. They get a, a, a kick out of making you worry, out of making you wonder. You know, another form of pain. Because it's kind of it's kind of painful when you really worry to death about somebody, something going wrong. It's like a painful feeling. It's like, damn. I wonder if this person is okay. I don't know if this person is okay like that. You know, it's like a semi-painful feeling. It's like small, but it's still pain. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like, damn, ouch! Like, yo, this is this hurting me right now. Like, why are you not okay all of a sudden? You you, you said we was gonna have a good time no matter what. I thought you was a strong person. I, I'm not gonna force you to not grieve about your parent, but she was orchestrating a situation where it was gonna probably make me say. You know, your grandma in a better place, let's have a good time. Making it seem like I'm telling you not to care about who passed away in your family. You know, that's not what I am. And they know how to orchestrate situations to make you look like the bad person. Because that's a bad person if you tell somebody, stop caring about this and let's have a good time. Because they're selfish. I'm not a selfish guy. So, we had the New Year's, but it wasn't no Happy New Year. It was just, yeah, Happy New Year. So, she basically ruined my New Year at the time. She knows that. Okay, it's cool. I got over it, so it's the next day. I'm happy again. I don't know what happened. I'm in a little attitude about last night at the time, but I'm happy again. So now we at now it's early in the morning. We leaving the Holiday Inn hotel because she told me that she was like, "Oh, we're gonna go to Holiday Inn. It's gonna be big." I'm really was pumped about this. So here comes the next day. We are having fun. We're happy. Here she go. I'm like, yo, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? You all right? What's wrong? What's wrong with you? You good? You good? And then she said, I just need to be left alone. I'm like, dude, I understand you lost your grandma and everything, bro. But you're not going to ruin everybody else's life because of your problems. It's almost like she was trying to project, project it on all of us that was there. You know, make us suffer. Make us suffer because she has to suffer. That's, that's selfish and wrong there. Okay, so... She basically gets up and walk off. You know, they love it when they know they wrong. They love to get up and do that walk off. I was like, damn. All right. So I was like, damn, this is how you're going to do do every do me like this. And she was like, well, so and so gave me space. Why can't you do it? Because I'm not that person. I'm, I'm me. You're not going to make me be nobody else. And that's what they like to do. I've been saying them all my all my, all my videos. They like to make you be something you're not. They need a follower. They need a flying monkey. I'm none of that shit. You ain't finna just. You might have manipulated me for a long period of time in life when I didn't know what was going on. But so I guess God been blessing me because he been blocking me out of some situations she tried to hurt me in so, or something. I've been protected because that's why I'm I'm still here. Okay, I'm not on no drugs. I'm not drinking. <laughs> I keep a water bottle with me all the time. I'm always cleaning my body out. I might eat my junk food here and there, but hey, nobody perfect. You know, I stay with my healthy shit. You get what I'm saying? She didn't destroy nothing. 
I still got my smile on my face. <laughs> okay. Because at one point in time, this was me. I came to a point where people started noticing, like, they see sadness in my eyes. Now that I'm free from this stupid narcissist, people are not only just smiling at me, especially the females. They're not trying to flirt with me, but, you know, I'm always assuming they're trying to flirt. <laughs> I'm a guy. You already know it. I love that shit. Anyway, I'm always getting this type of smile from women. From women. Hmm. Oh, hey. Hmm. Like that, I'm like, damn. But see, the damage that's been done to me from this narcissist is the fact that I can't really trust everybody's smile towards me like that sometimes. That's why I'm traumatized that when I'm still working on myself healing from that. Where not every smile is always going to be evil behind it. But when my narcissist ex used to smile at me a lot, I knew it was something. I felt like she'd go from doing being all smiley, happy, go lucky with me to ruining, ruining my life in a way, in some kind of way. Because that day on New Year's, she gets up and storms out. And now she orchestrated a situation where it looks like I'm about, like I'm hitting her. I said, I think I told you this story. She walks to this bar we like to go to, and I and I grab a hold. I say, yo, babe, what's going on? What's wrong with you? Leave me alone. I'm like, damn, dude, it's New Year's. Like, calm the fuck down. What you so mad about? You know what I'm saying? Everybody looked at confused, like, what the fuck? So we go into this bar, and you know, everybody's cleaning up. <laughs> You know, there's always that typical person uh, cleaning off the table. Every time you go to a bar, it's always that one person working, cleaning off that table with their rig. <laughs> okay. I'm looking up. Everybody's cleaning up because it's early in the morning. Everybody tired from last night's party. And I realized I was getting drained, though, because I couldn't grab her, like, tight enough. I was My energy was gone. It's like, she sucked the life out of me that day. I couldn't even get mad. That, I got mad, but I, I, I was just a different kind of mad. It was more like, my energy was so gone, my anger turned into, like, dread and depression. She depressed me that day and didn't even care about how I felt. She apologized, but she didn't really mean it. I know for a fact now. But at that time, we go inside the bar, they're cleaning, and let's say if you're on the outside looking in, let's say you was one of those bartenders, you look over, it looked like, okay, oh, shit, they fighting. No, she's like, get off of me, move. And she walks off like that. I'm like, damn, you act like you hate me. I mean, me being where I'm at now, all this time, they, I thought, damn, she hate me. No, she don't hate me. She never did. She only hated me because I was happy. And she no, she don't know how to be happy. No, she hate herself. People who do hurtful shit and ruin holidays and ruin special events, they hate themselves. They don't have no self love. They have no self worth. They are worthless people. Okay, I'm gonna spit and shit. I'm always spitting in my videos. Oh, I'm so sorry. But <laughs> they are worthless pieces of shit. This is not me saying out anger. Out of anger. This is basically how they feel about themselves. Okay. So that's where I'm at in my life personally. I'm at peace within myself because I realized, damn, I didn't really never have to get mad. But at the time, I didn't know what this narcissistic shit was. It was like, they would do, I don't know if they know this or know they, they know what they're doing, but they would do all the damage in the world to you until it's too late. Because once you finally get out of that situation and get free from it, it's already too late. They did all this damage to you. But the one thing they can't take away from you is you got the freedom to live your life happy. Because think about it, being with them was almost happiness, but it's like a drug that made you addicted to them being all goody, goody, nice, nice. Because think about it, think about a narcissist, when they're happy, you're happy. You're like, oh, yes, finally, they're happy, we can all have fun now. But ain't that something, ain't that weird? Can't nobody be happy until they're happy? She saw that I was getting a lot of attention on New Year's, because I'm cool like that. I mean... It's, this is going to sound fucked up and narcissistic when I say this, but if I'm not so cool, then why do why I have now 381 subscribers thanks to y'all? I must be a cool person. I guess she hated that. You know why? Because these narcissists, they see your potential. They see who you can become before you even know yourself. They see yourself worse, so they, they take it away from you. So at that time, I, I had no confidence, bro. I, 
or something because I was just like giving up. And how they torture you is after that situation on New Year's when it was like when it was twenty eighteen. The next day, you know, it was a time where that whole entire year, bro, she was punishing me for no reason. She she would yell at me. It was like I spent the whole year being a narcissistically abused one time, like a whole year, like a whole year. And I didn't even realize it. Like every once in a while, there was a time where I stopped completely. She discarded me where I see her in public. She acts like she didn't see me. I'm like, I'm right here. I'm like, dude, I'm just here for you. What's up? How you doing? I'm like, dude, we've been knowing each other this long. And you're going to tell if you don't see me. Okay. I see what's up. It was a time where it was a wrestling event that came to Charlotte. Remember, I talked about events, right? I almost didn't go because of her. Because of the way she'd been making me feel at the time. And she used to always torture me by saying, oh, you're just going to give up like that? You just want to give up? Like, why are you always giving up? Fix what's going on with us. Me fix what's going on with us? No, you need to fix what's going on with you because there ain't nothing wrong with me. It might be something wrong with me because of my, you know, the shit I went through in my own past, but I'm not, you, you ever notice, like, hey, I'm not the one trying to hurt nobody because of my past. I might react a certain way, but I'm not taking it out. I'm not using nobody as a punching bag. So it's like, even if you think you fixed the situation with a narcissist, it's not fixed. It's only a temporary feeling you're going to get. It's an addictive feeling of making this person happy. So now you got to, now you're stuck with doing everything this narcissist say. Now you're stuck being controlled. That's the only goal. That's all she wanted from me was control over me. And I kept stepping up to her years and years and years later. Karma finally caught up to her because I let her know how I really been feeling. Once we, once those lights went off in that apartment after her mom passed away, we started living hotel to hotel. I ended up being grounded in my own situation, the situation y'all see me in now. I'm not here telling my business. I'm just letting y'all know. Y'all see how peaceful I am. Y'all see I go to work all the time. I'm peaceful, but do you know as I'm always coming at the same place at the same time? No, not these narcissists. I'll be finding out bad information about my narcissistic ex. Okay, not my problem, not not my worries, not my care. All I know is she been jumping from place to place, jumping from place to place, jumping from place to place, jumping from place to place. She thought when she moved into this situation with her, um, well, I guess her relatives, the day she finally had left, finally left. Thank God. Oh, Jesus. Whew. To, the, to this day, I'm still relief from that, you know? That means I won. I won that situation. For you to leave, why? Because I knew what I was doing. I was getting back out of all the things she done to me. But I let her know I wish you never existed. I even told her that to her face. I say, look, I wish you never existed. Every time I wake up, I don't even want to see you anymore. So I guess she got to pretend like she's hurt. No, she loved every bit of everything I was saying because I was angry. She didn't leave because I said things mean to her. No, she left because her herself. She was selfish. I was never allowed to be happy, only on her terms. She's not going to say that. The narcissist is not going to say that. So for her to be happy, she had to take everything away from me, my PS4, uh, my happiness, my self-worth. But then when she saw me being peaceful about the situation afterwards, that's when she started harassing me. That's harassment if you work in somewhere and they just sitting there standing and staring. That's crazy. That's cuckoo the clown shit. That shit gotta stop. You narcissists out there. Another special event. Um, it don't necessarily have to be an event. But it's a special event. It's a special event to kind of see with somebody doing this. It was a situation where we was trying to talk. We were trying to talk things uh, out about us, me and her not getting along or something around that 2018 year. And out of nowhere, I'm thinking things are going to be okay. Oh, this bitch over here looking all sad. I'm like, damn, what the fuck happened now? As fucking usual. Because on the phone, 
oh, let's go hang out and have some fun. I guess she didn't want to be there because they like to start arguments. At another event, I saw somebody propose to somebody, and that shit, she saw that shit hurt me. We're sitting on this balcony area near this same bar or whatever. And I'm looking over these two people proposing. I'm like, yo, this could have been us. But she didn't even care. She just sat there in silence. I'm looking at her like, yo, this could have been us. She's still staring at him like, hmm. Yeah, this would never be me and KT the gamer. She was proud of that. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I got this YouTube channel because not only I can reveal not how I feel, but at least people would know that I remember everything. Every I remember every feeling I had on those situations. I can remember every feeling she had in those situations. I think it's a special event when I see somebody else showing love to each other. She know I love love itself. She used my own love. Ain't that evil? She used love to hurt me with. I was like, damn, you just going to walk out of my life like that and take even you away to me? You the one that made me happy. When I said she was the one that made me happy, she took herself away. I was like, damn. But see, that was a mistake on me because I boosted up her ego. When you when you tell a narcissist how much you love them and how much they make you feel good, you basically boost up their ego and you don't even know it. That's called positive reactions. Because anybody who do anything good for you is a positive reaction. You go, I mean, you're going to get a positive reaction. So they got to do something great for you to have that positive reaction. But I knew something was fading away between us at the time because her spirit looked real down. But her spirit wasn't down about me, wasn't down about her mom. It was down about herself. And she used to always admit that to me back then. She used to say stuff like, I don't care. I care about others. I'm a nice person. I don't, I don't care. I only care about, I don't even care about myself. And she don't. They proved it. She proved it to me. You know how I know? <laughs> oh, this is going to be a funny one. I used to have to get on her to brush her damn teeth. I'm talking about her teeth. I used to be scared to kiss this woman. She said, hey, baby. I go, hey, stop. I'm just being honest. This is not me talking shit. This is not me being mad. No. I've never said none of these on my videos. But there were times where we'd be, we could be um, at a cookout at my family house, another event. She'd give me a hug. Hey, you doing Okay. Because I could be sitting there daydreaming or something. How you doing, babe? Huh? I go, oh, babe, your breath. Her breath used to smell like the shit she was full of the whole time. <laughs> full of shit. But anyway, that's the thing, you know? That's how they own special events. Um, What else? Um, and for a long period of time, that New Year's actually... that. That situation that knew is hunting me for a while. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, like I said, it was a wrestling event. I mean, I let you leaving that back. I gotta go back to that. We was at a wrestling event. I love my pro wrestling. She knew it. And this proves how selfish they are because anything you do good for them ain't good enough. I even said, "Hey, I'm gonna sacrifice my wrestling ticket. How about this? I'm gonna sit. I bought floor seats." You know, that's for the first time. That was a big event. That's big for me because I came a long way with the type of money I was getting. You know, I wasn't really having that much money back then. And so I started getting paid thousands of dollars. Yeah, not like I'm not going to when I say thousand dollars, I'm not talking about two hundred thousand dollars and shit like that. No, hell no. I'll still be living off that right now at the time or something. No, I'm talking about like getting paid a thousand dollar check every two weeks. Shit like that, you know. And uh, and so I'm like, hey, let's trade tickets. I was gonna give her my ticket to sit on the floor seat, and I was gonna sit up at, up there, at, like in the seat. She was. She didn't want to sit right there or nothing. And I'm like, okay, I get it. But I feel like when I look back, I kept looking back at her. This is what all I saw. Like, who are you texting? You know. Told you. People, you know, she would secretly do things. For me. I have a secret way of doing things. I have a secret way of noticing things and, and then telling you at the last minute what I really noticed. 
I noticed everything that was going on around me. I just couldn't pick up on why I noticed everything. I know I'm an empath, and I we have this ability where we can pick up on stuff. But I didn't know I was that strong of an empath because now I'm shocked to myself how I remember all this shit. And that's the that's the main goal for these not with these uh, narcissists. When it comes to events, they know that what make that's what makes you you. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Mm. They know that's what makes you you. So they're going to have to take that away from you, okay? They're going to have to take that away from you. And their main goal is how they feed off you is by them living in your head. Don't let them live in your head. It's going to take a while for them to get out your head. Trust me, it's going to take a while. Because every fucking thing they did was calculated. You're going to be like, damn, this person was just like, I never knew this person was like this. This one is the stuff you see on movies. Yeah. I never thought it would ever happen to me until I started, like I said, the day she left. That was a big event for me. <laughs> Except this time, it was happy. You didn't really couldn't ruin that. I was happy. Now, I will admit, I called her. I, she texted me, hey, and stuff, or whatever, and I called back. I said, yo, are you going to come back or not? Because this got to stop. We got to either get along or we could be done. Okay, well, meet me over here at so-and-so. Meet me over I'm like, okay, cool. I'm not meeting you nowhere, first of all. You coming over here to see me. She was getting a thrill off of me begging her to come back. Because at the time, I didn't know if I was going to have a place to go or nothing. And that's what she did to me. So when you think about it, all this time, she basically orchestrated a situation where she let me live with her. Make me lose everything with manipulation. Make me think everything's going to be okay. And then she basically she basically you know had me in a situation where now I'm in a situation where I got to work and scratch and claw for money knowing that I'm in a bad situation. You're going to leave me over a little bit of drama over because I'm mad at you for what you did to me. When I have a right to be mad, no matter what you're going through in life, if somebody fucking with you, somebody have did you wrong, I don't care who passed away. You do me wrong, you go, I'm going to let you know how I feel. I don't care. I care about who passed away, but that don't mean they'd be like, and, and, that, and, and, and our narcissists love to hit you with that. Don't Let's not talk about that right now. We got to handle this real quick. We got to handle that. No, fuck that shit. We're going to handle this shit now. You're going to give me that closure. You're going to let me know why you did me wrong like this for all these years. At that time, that's how I felt. Until I, when she left, I reflected. I said, wait a minute. I have an idea. I'm going to start so I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. Well, I already have my YouTube channel. It was just, get, like I said, it was getting cobwebs. And like I said, what made this a big event to me? If y'all want to, go back and look at my first short video. Not my videos, my gaming. Check those out, too. But look at my first short video. At that moment, at that time, that's when that's the next day after she left. I'm not I'm not saying y'all be in my business. I'm not saying y'all be nosy or whatever the case. But that's what happened. And I'm telling y'all these things because this is I know y'all going through the same thing. But when a co I but the type of narcissist I was dealing with, with was a covert narcissist. And for that very moment, I celebrated the fact that she was gone. I celebrated that day. I celebrated the moments that she wasn't there because this is how I know I wasn't a bad person. Why am I getting these blessings? I know this is, I, I consider this a blessing in a way. Somebody had gave me like four like Bud Lights one time because I love to drink my beer at the time, like a lot. At the time, not no, y'all love to drink my beer even once in a while. Y'all see me drinking a beer on uh, one of my videos on live playing uh, a game on my phone. I drunk this, uh, this dude, we was having a conversation, and I was like, Yeah, that's some good Bud Light. And I don't really like Bud Light like that. She gave he gave me four of them. I was like, Damn, I needed that. And I mind you, this is the time that around the time she was gone, when she was gone, I guess she thought. In her, I bet she thought in her mind that oh he's over there by himself. He's worried. He's sick. She was, she was basically they get a thrill off thinking that they're hurting you. 
<laughs> she thought she was hurting me the whole time, and it didn't work. I treated it as a special event. It replaced all the events that ever went wrong in my life. It did. It, oh, shit. He'll go my damn. I don't hate when this happens. She always shutting down. All right. Anyway, anyway, anyway. It replaced it. All the events. Every time I, every, every uh, Bud Light I drunk. I know it sounds dramatic. It replaced it. All the events that went wrong with her, m- between me and her. When I say all the events, I mean celebrations, birthdays, everything. Everything she ever tried to ruin, it, it, every time I drunk, son, it just washed that pain away. It really did. Okay? But then again, I healed. I said, you know what? I got to figure out what to do. One particular day, I woke up out of my sleep and made a... You can see it in my eyes at that time. I was like, damn, they're just waking up. Go back and check out my first ever short video. My first, first ever one. I should, I should put it, I'm going to put the link, just because I, I'm going to put that link in the comments, so y'all can just see what I'm talking about, okay, and you'll be like, damn, you'll see a little pain in my face a little bit, like, I was hurt, I was, but I ain't hurt for a long period of time, their, their, their main goal is to have you hurt for a long time, and she knew that about me, like, she knew I hold, held grudges on people who hurt me the longest, so, all you have to do is hurt me bad enough to where, okay, I'm going to hold a grudge on you and hate you because they want you to hate them. Even though she would hit me with the, oh, why do you hate me, mama? No. And then have the audacity at the time to abuse me. And and I'll tell her, I think you hate me. And she'll, she'll be like, you really think I hate you? That's not how you react to that. Sometimes you got to show people you loved it. She couldn't show that. She hated herself. She hated her damn self. Cause to love someone, you gotta love yourself first. I get it. You you're not gonna love yourself, or you're gonna sacrifice or whatever. No, 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 no. Even though I'm sacrificing for you, I'm still gonna have to do. I'm still gonna drink some water with it. I'm over here helping you guys with the narcissism, but I'm still drinking. I'm drinking my water, taking care of myself. She's not gonna do that. She wanted everything to be handed to her. That's how she was. And all these other narcissists I've had to deal with in my life, not just her. So basically, they want you, they're going to have it embedded in your mind. They, they're they going to tattoo themselves in your mind by ruining your special holidays that mean a lot to you. I always want to say, watch these whole entire videos of mine. You're going to learn something from it. Trust me. And rewind to the best parts of my videos. Trust me. Learn from my mistakes I made. Because the one mistake I ever made was just simply going out with this woman. But guess what? Life's great. Because when that karma comes back to them, I'm going to make a whole video about their karma. I'm going to make that video right after this video. (laughs) The karma that's going to come back to them is going to come back tenfold. Non stop. The longer they have hurt you, the longer they're gonna be hurt. Then they're gonna hurt they they've been hurting people on top of people for years. So now they're gonna live in this deadly hell of themselves. They're gonna be living 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 in living hell. Being with them is like a living hell, but not what they gotta go through within themselves. They burning inside. They're they are in hell inside themselves. Now I know. So now I have nothing to be heard about. I can't be heard about somebody who ate themselves. No, you didn't hate me. She didn't hate me. She hated herself. So I got punished for that. But the punishment didn't work. It backfires every time. But anyway, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put it in the link, my first ever video, to show y'all my development of how long I've came from here to now. And I love y'all. And uh oh man. Mm, feels good being human. <laughs> That's one thing them narcissists can't stand it. They don't like to see you yarning. They don't like to see you having fun. They don't like to see you being normal. So they got to make you look not normal. They have to manipulate situations so you won't look normal. So they can replace their personality with yours. Because they're the ones that's not normal. They're the ones that can't wake up happy. Because I think it's strange how they sleep so good at night after they did something wrong to you. 
But anyway, I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna let that karma come up. <laughs> oh shit, I done hurt myself. Anyway, y'all like, subscribe, and share. Watch this whole video if you can. If those who really need this information and want to be entertained and have some fun too, watch this whole type of video. Shit, watch this video on your big screen. You know they got smart TVs. Watch it on your smart TV. I love y'all. Like, subscribe, and share. And I will put the link of my first ever short video in this uh, video here. Uh, in the in Inside the description. Right beside where it say Narc Slayer. Love y'all. Bye.